Blizzard is ruining the game. Yeah, how Blizzard are developing their own game. Guys, I'm blind, but I think that this is the right thing. Wait, wait, I'm deaf as well. I cannot hear or see any of the fans' response. But I think this is the right idea, you know? I think that Project Ascension is genius. And I'm really curious what that guy has to say. He says that it's ridiculous. So I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that I grew up playing MMORPGs, starting with RuneScape all the way back in elementary school. Over the years, I played a ton of other titles in the genre, but one of the more shocking tidbits about me is that I never really got into World of Warcraft. Sometimes, I don't believe I know you. Blasphemy, I know, but it's not like I didn't want to get into World of Warcraft. It's just that each time I tried to play it, I just couldn't connect with it. Coming from RuneScape, a game that more or less lets you mix and match any type of armor, weapon, or build in combat, it was hard for me to wrap my head around playing a chosen race in a chosen class that is set in stone. I mean, technically, it's not completely set in stone, since you can create multiple characters. Is this the quality of the video, or just the shit video? No. Scratch that. But my point is that if you want to play more than one class, you are forced to play multiple alternate characters. While that's sort of a standard in MMORPGs, my young brain didn't know that, and even as an adult, I tend to like games that allow more freedom in class choice. Things like classes being restricted based on the race you choose has always been... But, but is this really a thing in RuneScape? I don't know what is the deal with RuneScape, but according to this guy... RuneScape is classless? Basically, wow, without the classes and just the grind fest? Question mark? I have never played RuneScape, so I don't know. Something I never cared for. I always wanted to do wacky things in World of Warcraft, like play an undead shaman, conjuring up little tiki skulls <laughs> to represent the totems, or even something simple like a troll paladin. Dude, undead shaman will be sick. Even though it makes zero sense, it would be sick. Imagine the totems. The totems will be skulls. Dude, can you imagine? Can you imagine under shaman? Holy moly. Of course, some race class combinations were added in later World of Warcraft expansions, but I always wished Blizzard just let us create whatever our hearts desired. Hence why I couldn't really get into World of Warcraft. So imagine my delight when I came across Project Ascension. Said the past not. It's a fan-ran version of World of Warcraft that allows players to finally mix and match basically any class with any race. In my opinion, genius. I, I have said that numerous times. This is the best execution. This is the best execution for classless WoW. Blizzard have tried, Season of Discovery failed. They should have asked Ascension how to do all of this. Race, with gameplay restrictions to enforce balance, of course. Oh, and it's free to play, just in case I forget to mention that, like all the other projects we cover on this channel. When I discovered Project Ascension, I just... He's discovering other pro... I'm really curious now what else he's covering. What else is out there, actually? Knew I had to give it a try. So what's my thoughts on it? Let's discuss. Let's see, let's see. I'm very curious. Dude, this is a sponsored video for Ascension? Ascension is the quintessential take on a classic plus experience. Whether yes. you are a complete newbie to World of Warcraft, or if you've been playing for years, Ascension should appeal to both. The game is a take on if WoW took a much different twist in terms of content during the game's early years, mixing quality of life changes from current modern iterations of World of Warcraft and putting other major spins on the game that change the experience entirely. For example, the transmog armor collection system from later ver basically imagine classic plus imagine season of discovery but done the in the most right way possible and it's a private server and it's ridiculous because it's out there for years and all blizzard could do is just hire a bunch of people out of there or hire all of the ascension team 
or just uh, sue the Ascension team, take their product and adapt it to the classic version. And here you go, you have SOD now. But Blizzard just made SOD. And we are all disappointed versions of WoW is fully here, along with level scaling, where enemies grow in level with you. The various graphical improvements that WoW implemented over the years is here as well, sporting the newer character models and animations. Of course, nearly all the World of Warcraft add-ons, mods, and UI customizations also work for Project Ascension, allowing you to fully customize the Amazing. interface to how you want it, or at least to how you have it on WoW Live. There are various challenges you can take part in with other players, opt in and out it's PvP, as well as an option for Dude, there are challenges in the game mode. Can you imagine that? High risk PvP, where death means losing absolutely everything, and a plethora of other amazing features. When you create a new character in Ascension, most of the normal options are here. You've got the Horde and Alliance, simple cosmetic choices like hair and small facial details, and then choosing a name. The class choice is obviously no longer here in character creation, because now each player is considered a hero. Instead, now every nice. level up you are granted ability points, and then once you hit level 10, talent points. Abilities all have have different point costs, as well as a restriction based on how powerful they are to prevent players from stacking the best ability from each class. But even with the restrictions for balancing purposes, you can basically make anything you ever dreamed of in terms of World of Warcraft. Ever wanted to play a spell-slinging dagger rogue? It's possible. Dreamed about making a holy gunslinger? Go for it. How about an undead mace-wielding shadow hunter? It's something you can do in Ascension. Heck, the fact that you can choose all of your abilities and talents from every class pool isn't even half the ways you can customize how you play. Probably exactly. one of the more notable features I have to mention too is the mystic enchantments. These are basically items that drop from enemies that can be equipped to further power up your chosen spells and abilities. So if the whole concept of choosing your own class build wasn't enough for you, this allows you to customize things even further. But with all of these features in mind, where does Ascension fit into the world of Azeroth in terms of expansion content? What dungeons can players expect to be running through in addition to all the custom content. Technically, the era this game sort of emulates is during the Burning Crusade expansion with Wrath of the Lich King currently in the works to be implemented. Now, there is multiple nice. server types that do have drastically different forms of gameplay depending on what you choose, similar to how current WoW Classic servers have Hardcore, Season of Discovery, or its various expansion era servers. Blizzard is ruining the game. Yeah, the community is doing great great job in the private servers but but blizzard is Blizz, how blizzard are developing their own game guys i'm blind but i think that this is the right thing wait wait i'm deaf as well i cannot hear or see any of the fans response but i think this is the right idea you know I, I was talking about this yesterday, actually. Blizzard have great ideas. Plunderstorm was a great idea. Season of Discovery is a great idea. Classic, kind of, is a good idea. Execution, terrible. Fire the execution department, please. We need a reset. Like, how can you do such an awful execution of Season of Discovery? How can you do such an awful execution for Plunderstorm? such a groundbreaking game in the genre man i have never seen a game that is so unique and it's tied to world of warcraft it could have been free and everyone could have enjoyed it it could have been not tied to pirate team but that's kind of whatever and they fumbled the bag. Ascension has quite a few different types. Area 52 is their main server that basically has all the main gameplay features people would be looking to play. Eloon, as it's currently called, is the draft mode server where players randomly get assigned skills. The server rotates based on seasons, with it currently being on season 9. The last couple of various choices range from public test servers to a fully unique server that the Ascension team created with custom classes that offer an alternative to people who want structured classes versus the freeform class-free gameplay of the normal server. You do have to unlock that server, though. 
What? Now everything <laughs> with this modded project isn't perfect as you can imagine. Obviously with all the changes in freedom of choice in builds, spells, abilities, talents, etc. Balance is all over the place. A ton of the builds people will create will be relatively underpowered and there will be an optimal way to build your character, especially for PvP. To be fair though, you can check out optimal player builds using the game's built-in hero architect menu, oh, where you wow. can see recommended specs that players are using for PvE or PvP. In comparison to WoW, you should open the browser and research what the fuck is the meta and what the fuck is viable. See on a Fran project is a fully fleshed out cash shop. Now it is called a donation shop here, so there is a distinction, but there are items in there that raise an eyebrow. Things like a portable bank, XP potions, and other convenience items in the donation shop. Now these can be earned in game from the auction house if you purchase them from another player, but it's just a bit jarring to see it here. Regardless of the donation shop having items that grant convenient advantages, the game is fully free to play. Ascension has a huge following behind it when compared to other fan project servers, most likely just due to the sheer population that World of Warcraft has had in culture over the past two decades it's been around. You'll have no shortage of ever finding people to play with because on an average day, there's thousands of players actively playing versus- Dude, and the textures are updated. This is the old Orgrimmar, but the old Orgrimmar does not look like that other projects, or it might be lucky to see near a thousand players. Now that community of thousands of players are strangely quiet, most likely just due to most people probably talking to each other in Discord nowadays rather than in game. Now this could have been a way to eliminate the constant toxic barren chat of old days, but for some reason at least on my client, the world chat was disabled by default. I had to go into the chat settings and turn on the Ascension world chat just to feel like I wasn't alone in this game. Ascension is definitely a unique way to experience World of Warcraft and play in a way that spins it on its head. I think with its various game modes, it can hold the attention of players for quite a while, but I can't help but feel with all of these different game modes and seasonal servers and such, splitting the player base constantly does feel like it can make the population feel a bit lower than usual. Don't get me wrong, there is definitely players running around in Ascension, but the gameplay is definitely geared to be solo friendly. You don't see too many quest groups going Going on or people shouting for low-level groups, which is a bit of a shame, but realistically, most players are probably running content at endgame. So the obvious solution there is to join the many guilds advertising in world chat or simply jump into Ascension with friends. In reference to my Toontown corporate clash video- I mean, to be fair, nowadays World of Warcraft is more of a solo game, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a sad kind of situation that's why i created a guild if you guys didn't know i have a guild in cataclysm we're playing alliance it's called the casuals just saying it casually you know i believe that what made the world for craft special is actually the social aspect what is special about ascension first of all it's private server it cannot always depend on people always being there so they created this massive amounts of content so they can somehow hook the players up and play and they have done it fabulously. So what else can I say? It's hard to actually believe that private server projects like this are able to drastically change how much the game is played. As little as maybe 10 years ago or so, major overhauls to these games like Project Ascension would have never thought to have been possible. Conversations at the lunch table with my friends who played World of Warcraft in high school would have been us brainstorming what it would be like to mix and match classes like you can in Ascension. I think if you are just bored with WoW currently or just wanted to experience something incredibly different, then I would imagine Project Ascension has probably piqued your interest like it did for me. But there is also nothing wrong with the current live version of World of Warcraft. <laughs> Either way, as someone who never really got to experience the major golden years of World of Warcraft, I've been having a fun time toying around in Ascension. So now I've got to ask you, are you playing Project Ascension? Let me know no. down below in the comment section if you have been playing it or if you plan to give it a try. Don't forget- I really want to try it. 
not gonna lie, I have tried it before Blizzard have launched the official classic, classic servers, whatever. I didn't have the opportunity to actually play it a lot because classic launched and I just hopped to classic. I'm out to give it a go. Uh, the only thing that I'm a little bit afraid that I'm not sure if this is okay to be streamed on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to help support my channel. Follow all my social media links down below if you desire, and I will see you in the next video. In the fields of justice, you know? Anyway, good video. Drop this guy a like. The title is a little bit misleading, but it's true at the same time. Project Ascension is ridiculous, but awesome at the same time. I wish Blizzard contacted these guys when they were doing Season of Discovery. That's all I'm gonna say. Now back to WoW.